Hello viewers, you are welcome back to Zakir Naik TV. Today in our own video, we are together with Dr. Zakir Naik, where he is uh, given an answer, he is answering question about the purpose of creation, that why God created us. So let's watch this video together and we will later come and discuss about it. What is the purpose of creation from both point of view? First, we'll discuss from the Creator's point of view, from the point of view of Almighty God, from the point of view of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What caused him to create the human beings? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Ghafir, chapter number 40, verse number 57, that the creation of the heavens and the earth are far greater than the creation of the human beings. But most of the human beings here, they realize it not. Many human beings feel that we are the greatest of the creation. But Allah says that the creation of the heaven and the earth is far greater than the creation of the human beings. And in reply to this query, that why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why Almighty God created us? One of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, is the creator, the best creator. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 14, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, is the best to create. If there is a creator, if his attribute is creator, there has to be a creation. If there is no creation, then there cannot be a creator. For example, if you call a person as the best writer, but naturally you will ask him that where is the material you have written? Where is the book you have written? Where is the article you have written? So when he presents the article or the book, then we can say, fine, he is the best writer. Similarly, since one of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator, the best creator, he has to have a creation. But that does not mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is dependent on his creation. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Zumur, chapter number 39, verse number 62, that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who creates everything and he is independent of all his creation. He is not dependent on these things, but the creations are dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Arabic word for create is khalik, and to create, the Arabic word is khalaka. Khalaka can be divided into two types. One meaning of khalak is to create something from something which besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even we human beings and other creation can do for example a carpenter who creates a chair and a table with the help of wood and nails but the wood has been obtained from the trees which has not been created by the carpenter not by human beings but by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the nails have been obtained from metal which have been obtained from rock, which again is a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all the creations done by human beings, they're dependent on basic elements, all of which have been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this type of creation, to create something from something, is a limited type of creation. The ultimate and the true creation is to create something from nothing. And this, no one besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do. To create something from nothing. This is the ultimate creation which none of the creation can do except the uncreated Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the creator of all the creation. Since his attribute is the creator, there has to be creation. There are various attributes given in the Quran. For example, he's called as Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Ar-Ghafir, the merciful, the kind, the forgiver. The creation of the human beings is a unique creation. We human beings, we have a free will of our own. We can either obey our Creator Almighty God or we can disobey. It is a unique creation. And because we have this ability to either obey or disobey our Creator, we can even sin. We can sin. And only because the human beings can sin, can the quality of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as being the forgiver being kind, being merciful, can be known. 
if human beings, if he did not have a free will, and if he had followed everything what Allah has commanded, there would be no difference between us and the angels. The angels are a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who do not have a free will of their own. They obey each and every commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they don't have a free will of their own. But the human beings have a free will. And because of this free will, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the kindness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can be known. The other attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is given in the Quran is loving. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in several places in the Quran that he loves those people who trust in him, those people who are patient, those who are righteous, those who are pious, those who are patient and perseverance, those who approach him and those who trust in him. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 31, he tells to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he tells him, that tell, that if you love Allah, follow me, and Allah will love you and forgive your sins. The Prophet has been commanded by the Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to tell the people that if you love Allah, you have to follow me, that is follow the Prophet. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you and he will forgive your sins. And there's a hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned in Tirmidhi and has been authenticated as Sahih by Sheikh Nasir al-Dalmani in his Sahih Tirmidhi, hadith number 3540, where our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu he says that if you ask Allah, Allah says, if you approach to me, I will answer you. And if you ask for forgiveness, I will forgive you. Even if your sins reach up to the cloud, I will forgive you. Even if your sins are as big as the complete earth, I will approach you in the same way with forgiveness as long as you ask for forgiveness and do not associate partners with me. That means whatever sin you do, as long as you ask for forgiveness with sincere repentance, if you do not associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't do shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will forgive you. Uh, MashaAllah, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik in this video, he tried his best in answering the question, why we are created? That why God created us who was the purpose of our creation? But in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it directly, that why he created us is for us to worship him. Allah in prayer to Zaria, chapter 56, to Abbas 56 to 58, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا كَلَقْتُ لِجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ مَا أُرِيدُ مِنْهُمْ مِنْ رِزْقٍ وَمَا أُرِيدُ أَنْ يُتْعِمُونَ إِنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ الرَّزَّابُ ذُو الْقُوَّةِ الْمَتِينَ وَأُولِي الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ يَوْمِهِ وَالَّذِي يُعَدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I did not create the jinn and the mankind except for them to worship me. I do not want uh, any provision from them. No, I want any. Uh, I want them to feed me. Uh, indeed, in Allah, machine. Indeed, Allah is the provider, the farm possessor of strength. So, God continues said for all the people of you are doing that a hell, the word of hell, is being to those that disbelieve in me. And it is going to happen to them in that day that we promised them. So that is it. The purpose of our creation is for us to worship Him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even in the worship, He did not want us to, uh, to, 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 to suffer. He did not want a strength from us. That's why in another verse of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Yurid Allah bikum al yusra wa la yurid bikum al usra. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mean. Uh, the ease, he meant to ease for you people. He don't mean to make it difficult for you. And, uh, and that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمَا وَحَمَلْنَاهُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحَرِ وَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الْتَيِّبَاتِ وَفَنْدَلْنَاهُمْ عَلَىٰ كَشِيرٍ مِنْ مَنْ كَرَقْنَا تَبْدِيلًا That we indeed, we who know the human being. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honor you, create you for you to worship him, and he honors you and he make it very easy for you in the process of worship and furthermore he he is even telling you that 
you should be, be patient. Be patient during worshiping him. Even if uh, he, despite he put it very easy for you, he even asks you that you should be patient. You should be endure in worshiping him. That is a love for you. So here we come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe our channel Dark Kenya TV, like the video and share it for the rest of the people to benefit. Thank you. Until we meet in the next video.